Okay, uh, you asked me if I had any leaks. Well, uh, this thing's warped. I don't have the best water hose right here. And it does leak a little right there, but that's not, it's not the pump. It's my water hose thing. And I, I don't have much time, so I'm gonna try to make it as quick as possible. And I've already made you one video of it where I just cranked it dead cold start. I hadn't cranked this thing in over a month. And I tried to show you that I blew that gas can off of there, but apparently it shut off real quick. But the whole key to these things is uh, make sure that you got water run through the pump. Always turn the gas off and just let it uh, shut off on its own after it runs completely out of gas. Because what that does is it drains the carburetor completely. And it, I looked at the video and it's shaking. Well, that's these tires. Here's what it is. <laughs> It's they're gone. They're all gonna shake a little, but no big thing. So let me go turn the water on. See if we got time. Tell. that's the way you want to do them is to take the hook trigger up here so that water is always constantly flowing through it but as you can see she does not leak pump does not leak anywhere period and we're going to try to wash that little truck over there some anyway uh, I hope this water don't get all over my camera I've choked it a little bit because I drain it completely I let it run completely out of gas is what I do on a carburetor by shutting the gas off uh, this little face plate that goes on the front right here, I've got it. I just got to put it back on. I don't know where it is. I don't know where the two screws are is all it is, the two little screws. But I took it off because I was having problems with the kill switch on it. And the kill switch hooks up to the throttle, which I don't use the kill switch. I mean, that's the worst thing in the world to, ever get to start using because then you turn around and you end up not draining the gas out of your car which when you put it up and everybody does this they put them up and they forget about them and then when they go out there and try to crank them well all that gas is going to turn to varnish and uh what little bit of water that's in the gas turns into uh calcium deposits and it just ruins carburetors and carburetors for these things cost somewhere around oh uh, depending on where you get it <laughs> 65 to a hundred dollars <laughs> that's great all right she should be pumped good all right now we, that was choked
holes I'm talking about. I'm not talking about corn. This little face plate I've got sitting over there somewhere. But I'll take and just turn the gas off and run it completely out. You can see, it's just smooth as can be. Wraps around, comes up here and ties into that bag. I'll put those on.